Lisa and I met a couple years back while I was teaching sip and paint classes, and since then we just stayed good friends. I'm Lisa Jenneret. I'm a native El Pasoan, the first of my family to be a native El Pasoan. I have traveled all over the world and lived various places, but El Paso is definitely my home. I've been drawing or painting for most of my life. It has certainly changed over the years, and I think that I have done more painting in the last six or seven years than I've done in the rest of my lifetime. I tend to paint a lot of landscapes, a lot of women, a lot of light. I tend to be fascinated by things um, in nature and I find myself wanting to recreate them on canvas. Right now I'm doing a lot of acrylic painting, but I have also done watercolor and I also love oil pastels, although I haven't quite mastered them yet. They're uh, definitely a different feel and a different technique, and I like that ability to do the same subject with different media. It's been challenging and it's interesting to see how they turn out so differently. I think that it's very important as women that we find a way to speak our truth, to have our say. And it's true for everyone, but women especially sometimes struggle finding a way to do that. And my art is one way that I do that. My name is Ashton Cayley and I am an independent freelance artist. I really identify as a maker, so I like to use all sorts of different mediums, but my favorites are paint, particularly acrylic and oil and even digital. Uh, lately I've also been doing some fiber art, sculpting with wool, and that's been a lot of fun. I've really been enjoying that lately. And I just love sharing art with people because I think that there's a big problem with people feeling like they can't get into art, that if they lack the skill or understanding, then art's not for them, but art is really for everybody. In my opinion, you don't have to make a career out of it, you could just do it for fun, and for self-expression, or um, if you do want to go for a career, by all means, it, it's really such an enriching thing to do. Uh, I think we tend to overlook the fact that art is in all aspects of our lives from the packaging designs on the products we use to the movies we watch and the clothing we wear it all has relations to art and um, things can be beautiful and functional and I love mixing all that up It has had a really interesting effect on my work. The pandemic has both stymied me uh, mentally as far as coming up with ideas. I have really horrible dry spots where I can't think and I can't come up with any ideas and I don't know what I want to put on paper or canvas and then suddenly uh, it inundates me and I come up with all kinds of ideas and I have to get them down and I have to get them out. and. I find it's also another way to connect. I, I love to paint with uh, Ashton, it's great when we get to do that. It is a way to keep that open connection going and that communication and that sharing, which is so, so important. And I think during the pandemic also, it's really important to find ways to think of some hope that there's an ending, that there's light, that there's beauty still. And so even though it makes me pause sometimes and I don't always paint, there have been months that I don't paint anything at all. And then the second I put my paintbrush to the canvas, I feel better. I don't know, even if the painting ends up being horrible, I feel better. So I really should do more of that. The pandemic has changed how I operate my business greatly because I've tried for the better part of the year to really um, isolate and go out as little as possible. Some of the venues that I used to sell my things at um, shut down or went on hiatus. 
painting together on Zoom or even just sending each other photos of our art or art that inspires us has really helped us through this whole ordeal. Um, I for one feel very fortunate to have a strong woman in my life that I can call my friend. People can buy my art by instant messaging me, uh, sending me an email, they can purchase it through any kind of format, Venmo, PayPal, whatever, Pigeon, I don't care. It doesn't matter. I'm pretty flexible. And um, uh, just let me know what you're interested in. And you can find out more about me and my art at my website, ashtonkaylee.com. From there, you can see all the links to all my social media presences, um, including Facebook, Instagram, and I even have a YouTube channel where I have over 50 videos and growing of different art-related topics. I share tips, tutorials, um, my experiences, and I even do some art supply reviews.